Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today I'm playing Brigus in Project 1999, and I am here with some friends as we traverse Runny Eye. So Runny Eye has come under some changes lately. They added new mobs, they changed the faction in here, it seems like, and um, we're getting we're getting plat. I mean, we're getting good money down here. So, the one thing that they definitely changed, and you'll see all over the zone now, are fungus-looking mobs. Like the ones that you would see in Upper Guck. The ones that you don't touch in Upper Guck. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they, uh, But here, they aren't auto-attack. They won't instantly aggro you. But they do add to each other so if you attack one and another one is close by they will add on to you and add on to you and so on until you have five mobs whenever you're originally trying to just pull one and we did pretty good here i i have to say we started out with some crazy pulls by villas who's ac gamer but because of the fact that myself being a level 24 cleric and Sith Lord, who's a level 23 cleric, who's Hydros Inc., were able to keep everything under control with uh, CC roots. I think Sith Lord was doing some side heals while I was doing main heals. The whole thing, we just worked well together. One thing that we did have problems with was the pet. We actually talked about it a little bit, how the pet anchors the mob where they are. So, I don't know if you've ever noticed this or had this problem, but if you have a person who has a pet in your group and they don't know when to back that pet off, um, you will end up having problems where that pet locks that mob in place it's like a root for that mob it doesn't matter how much aggro you have on that mob as soon as you the human or you the the pc character move back that that pet just locks that mob down where it's at i don't know why that's that way i think that was resolved later on on live that that you could actually pull the aggro off the pet and it would actually come to you but we were having all kinds of problems with that. So, good thing is, is that we were all in Skype. So, we were able to pull the mobs, say, to pull the pet back. So, that we could split the mobs. So, we could uh, do, some, um, do some CC rooting here and there. But we all, we ended up working well together. Got everything taken care of. But the pet also, here's the other side issue. With a zone like this, uh, Upper Guck, uh, Lower Guck, or any dungeon, the pet is on a different faction or a different wavelength than the humans are. A human who has faction with the mobs and runny eye, or not human, but humanoid, <laughs> let's say it that way, when they walk through runny eye, if they have faction there, uh, they can just walk through. But the pet was aggroing everything <laughs> that it would, that we went by. So we ended up just killing every mob, no matter if it was green or if it was blue or if it was uh, even. So uh, it slowed us down a little bit, but got us more loot because of it, because all these mobs down here, they drop the high quality ore, which is always nice. Get that 50 plat block, um or get the 16 plat um, large blocks, I think is what they're called. But either way, sporals, they are hard hitting. So you don't want to come down here by yourself unless you're probably closer to that 25 to 30 range. Because once you get to that point, you should be able to hand them a little bit. But you probably want to single pull them. They, they will beat you down pretty fast. The zone is really cool, and the zone, actually, the experience is really good uh, compared to, say, Upper Guck, which is really good as well. It has a really high Zem. Well, Runny Eye is running pretty high as well. The, from the time we got here to the time I had to leave, which I only was able to stay about an hour, 
uh, I got 20% into level and I had just leveled before we came here. So it, it was pretty good for me, I felt. Uh, it wasn't other zones, but here's the problem with zones like Runny Eye. Runny Eye, the Warrens, if you have to do any kind of quest mob, like um, in, say, Lake Wraith for the Cleric Epic, anything along those lines. These zones, well, let's, let's stick to the dungeons, because quests, I mean, you're always going to have to ask people to come and help you with those, but with dungeons like Runny Eye and, um, say, the Warrens, Warrens level 10 to 20, uh, Runny Eye probably level 15 to probably 25, 30, maybe more. Uh, those zones are so far out of the way that you have to ask people to come to those zones. It's not something that people automatically go to. Okay, I'm level 20 now. I'm going to go to, um, I can go to either Upper Guck, I can go to Mistmore, I can go to High Hold. Oh, but I'm not going to go to Runny Eye because no one's going to be there for me to get a group. So that's the only problem with Runny Eye is that you have to bring your own group but that is also part of the fun is that you may have a group say this is how for us or me myself at least whenever I was in Oasis and we got a really good group going we'd say let's move this group over to Upper Guck what you need to do is you need to take a group like that and say let's move this to Runny Eye because you'll get the experience You'll get more money there because it's on par with, um, with Soul A as far as the blocks or permafrost or, uh, yeah, as far as that goes. Those are the three zones that you can get those blocks in at that level that I know of at least. But yeah, it, it's so far out of the way that people have to pull other people into the zone and then they can finally see what they're missing. So it's one of those zones that I think people should definitely check out, especially now that they've made the changes. I think everyone should check out a zone at least once. And um, if you're uh, like Thum or Hydros Inc., uh, you might decide on how you like that zone by the first uh, glances. Like the first time uh, he went to Seb, he hated it. The second time he went to Seb and made money, he liked it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's just, um, you have to give it a try at least once. And hopefully during that time that you're there, you will enjoy it. Though I died once, uh, we had no other deaths and it's because we had a really good group. So anyway, guys, that's really all I wanted to say today. I hope you enjoyed. Check out my friends Hydros Inc. as well as AC Gamer. This is Cypher Dick. Peace out.